Hello! If like me you have a solar system at your house and you are fully independent, what I mean by that is that your solar system is not connected to the network, uh, therefore you have batteries to keep the energy. Uh, in this video I will show you how we're gonna take care of them. You will see it's very easy. These are the solar batteries that I've got for my system. Uh, each of them are 2 volts and I've got 12 so I've got a 24 volt system now to take care of them it's very very easy uh, there's only two things that we're gonna look at first the oxidation that can uh, be there on the on the terminals and as well the water that we need to check um, very often uh, some people don't check that and the battery die uh, so after a year or two, uh, we have to change the battery, which is a shame because a battery like that should last a good 20 years, sometimes more. Okay, so I'll show you that right away. The first thing we need to have a look is the terminals of the battery. Uh, uh, it should be like this, nice and clean. If you have um, some white deposit around, you know you're having a problem. In that case, you will need to remove the, the screw and put some grease and then clean it nicely and place it back okay now be very very careful because this can actually explode in your face if you remove this uh, what happened those batteries are full of gas and therefore when you remove one of those uh, it can be a spark spark and gas boom okay uh, so be very careful uh, if one explode the other one can explode as well uh, so before you do that, make sure you open the battery like this and you blow it a little bit <laughs> like so. If you really want to make sure you open all of them, uh, you blow them and you wait 10 minutes if you really want to make sure. But now once it's open like that, you can work safely on the battery. It will never explode. OK, so that's very, very important. OK. And uh, well, as I say, you remove this, place a bit of grease place them back and that's it. Then you don't forget to close the tap. Done. Now let's have a look at the water. For the battery level, uh, the, the level of water, we're gonna use only distilled water, okay? Uh, so usually you can find it in bottles of two liters and bottle of five liters. Uh, because I've got rather large batteries, I use five liter bottles and sometimes to refill, I will use three of those, okay? Um, so now I'm going to show you uh, the level and where it should be. To check the level on the batteries, it's uh, written here. You see, maximum and minimum. The level of water, it's in a bit lower than the, the minimum mark, uh, the, the, but in between of those. Huh? Uh, so at the moment, it's fine. I don't need to fill it up. Uh, but because I've got water, I will fill it up. Okay. Just make sure when you fill it up that you don't go above the max, uh, maximum mark and that the batteries never go below the minimum mark because that's when you're going to start damaging them. Okay. To fill it up, it's very easy. You just open it here. You use something like uh, this. Put it on top and fill up the water. Uh, so just make sure of your level. These batteries are solar batteries, so obviously all solar batteries are clear. You can see them, uh, you can see inside. Some people for the solar system use forklift batteries, uh, which you can't see inside. They're usually quite slim uh, and they got only two terminals. Um, those batteries will work on the, with the solar system, but they will never last you as long and over time they tend to swell as well okay so as you can see it's very easy to uh, check the batteries that's it for today i hope that you have enjoyed the video and we'll see each other in the next one ciao